Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Boss and the Lit Lords. Today we're going to be taking a look at Rapid Fire. Let's go. I'm gonna knock them out. We're just going to be looking at specifically the drops today. So if we get into it, it's going to be a really short video just because there's not very much going on in this track as far as the synth section goes. Alright, so if we open up the synth section here, the synth section is made up of two screeches, two layered screeches. You got your sharp and your wide screech, and then we've got some samples that I cut from a sample line here. That sample line <coughs> took the one shot, sounds like this. But here's what the original thing came from, which is just a simple yada yada fucking cymatics thing that it sounds ridiculous. I don't know what that's doing, but it has a nice one shot line here that we can cut and just use like this. And it goes like that, and another one here, which I threw on a sharing. Nah, that's how I did it. So I threw on sharing to modulate it to get it to sound like that, 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 that. Which is just a simple sharing. Eighth note rate, amount is 100%, offset 283. So without that, it just sounds like the other one. Which is way too much, so we kind of botten that up, tighten the transients, and bought in some LFO modulation to get it to sound like this. So it's really tight. Low now playing off of that is your little bird call, little screechy kind of uh, serum patch here, which sounds like this. This is what you're gonna hear on top of the, everything in the mix. It's even higher than the screeches because the screeches in this drop are really just adding in a little spice to the sides because they're panned out. So when you put those two things together without the screech, you get this. And it comes here, just like that. So it's, it's extremely simple. And then when you get to the section where it kind of holds the sustain, that's just the bird call serum patch holding the sustain. And all I did there was modulate, I'm pretty sure, yeah, modulate the LFO here, which is just, let me open this up like so. There we go, okay. So I'm actually on eighth notes. Let's see how I did that. Okay, nice. So it's actually hitting eighth notes really fast, but it sounds like it's a sustain. But if you listen really closely when it's soloed, you can hear it going wah, wah, wah. But over everything else in the mix, you're not going to hear this. So I didn't feel the need that I had to change it. So now if we go into our screeches, the screeches literally, they're just mimicking what these little bass synths are doing. So if we put them in here, get this. Very simple. Now when it holds the sustain, the screeches hold the sustain just like the serum patch. And then you hear how it has these here on you hear the, the reverb, the tail reverb when it cuts out like that. You gotta make sure everything is modulated on the volume here. So it cuts off every time the screech does not play, you cut the screech off so you're not getting any of that excess noise, so it creates a cleaner mix. So it cuts off, so now you're not going to be able to hear that when I unsolo everything and play it like so. It cuts off and it's not in your face. So that's really, really nice there. And that's all there is to this drop here. So it's extremely simple. This track, the whole thing only has 150 channels. So, very basic track. Full speed, call it rapid fire. So the next drop we have here is the Jersey drop here. And the Jersey drop is really simple. I used two of those 808s from the first drop and it sounds like this. So we're on an 808 section. I have no idea why I wanted to do it this way, but that's how it turned out. So when you put the kicks in there, which sound like this. It's very simple, put the 808s in. Very simple. Now, same thing is going on from the first drop and the second one. You've got <coughs> three different screeches playing against each other here, and I'm pretty sure I modulated those. We'll get a look at that in a second. Then we've got just one of those things from the other, from the first drop here, from the first synth drop that we took the synth line from, and just modulated it here like so. So let's look at this one first. So this sounds like this. <laughs> And this is just going to keep your pace. So this is my pace synth, is what I like to call a pace synth. This is going to keep you on beat. Usually you can substitute that for something like a hi-hat or something uh, percussion-wise, but it's also it's a sound in the drop synth section that keeps you on pace with everything else going on around it. So this is just, we got a four to the floor momentum going on, so you're going to get a four to the floor type of synth pace going here, which is this. <laughs> <laughs> 
simple like this. Which just keeps you going. And then without that it sounds, without the sharing, which is on a quarter note, sounds like this. Which is, I have no idea, I, I didn't do it that way, but we turn our sharing on and then to get this wide, how we want it to be, we've got some disharmonics on it. So it sounds really dry and boring without this disharmonic. So here's it, here it is without the disharmonics on. So we spiced it up a big time at a 94% dry wet, 71% feedback on a repitched doom tune dial, you've got this. It kind of beefed it up slightly and panned it out to the sides in the stereo field. So very simple stuff there. Now to take a look at our uh, screeches here, we've got a 2R with a 2L on a center. So we've got a 2L, a center, and a 2R. So let's see what this first screech is. Okay, so on our sustained ones, the ones that look like they are sustained screeches, I've got simple quarter note, 73% amount, 331 offset sharing LFO tool on here, which creates it to uh, not sound like this. Because they're sustains. And because they're sustains, though I chose to do it that way, we put a sharing tool on and it gets it to go quarter note. Very simple. Now we've got, I'm sure this is the flat. Yep, so we took our flat center screech and we I didn't want to modulate that at all because it has a very kind of wide and flat response when you just hit it as like so. Take a look. So it's really nice to just use how you want um, and kind of just play with the screech play a little bit. So we put that, if you put those two screeches together, you're gonna get this. So it kind of brings some sharpness, like you're just hitting it a little bit. Now I've got our 2R, which is this screech here. Same thing I did on the first uh, flat response screech. And this is a completely different, this is a serum, serum patch here, which is a serum lead, which just sounds like this if you're just gonna fuck with it. It sounds like bullshit, but when you put it in with everything else, it's like kind of comes together. So if you put all those three screeches together, you're going to get something like this. So now you put your bass in there, and that's from the synth section, you're going to get this. It does not sound like that in the actual track when you want to solo everything, because it sounds like a bunch of bullshit. But it all kind of comes together when you add the low end in. And so if we solo that with the low end, you're going to get something like this and it kind of comes to life. So, very simple stuff going on here. And then, um, same thing we did here because I told you that I put the LFO tool and it's actually playing eighth notes, but I turned it into quarter notes. So, on the second half of that drop, when it goes wah, 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 I just modulated the same thing on all the screeches, changing it from quarter to eighth notes. So now your screech is gonna hit like this. And then I did the same thing with the flat response. And obviously the same thing is going on here where we have a slight swing to everything. So everything is slightly off beat. This is what kind of gives the whole track the swing that it has because nothing is actually on beat. So it gives you a slight swing. Same thing with the other screech. Everything is off beat very slightly. So you get those three things and you're gonna get like this. And now I turned off the tool, LFO tool, on this little uh, sample here, which now it's just gonna hit like this. Without that sharing tool, it's a lot sloppier like this. It's way sloppier, so to tighten things up, which is like a pro tip here, you just put, the, put on an LFO tool and modulate it how you want, and just kind of play with your LFO rate. And you're just gonna really tighten up all the transients and tighten up everything else in the mix so it doesn't sound sloppy. So you get this, which is nice. So if you solo that whole section, you're gonna get this. Now, with the sustain of the 808, you get this. So very simple stuff here. All right, and that's pretty much all there is to the drops on rapid fire. Very simple stuff going on here. Um, Hope you found some of it useful. Going full speed, call it rapid fire. I'ma pull the trigger and let you hear the choir. No mercy in my hood, yeah, we guns for hire. I'ma pull the trigger and let you hear the choir.